lonely. I'm so lonely. I have nobody to call my own. Ooh. What's up? I'm back with a video, and today we're going to talk about how to deal with loneliness because this is the most common thing that a lot of people struggle with. And I know there's a lot of you out there that are struggling with loneliness because you feel that people don't understand you, people don't get you. Maybe you have friends and family that don't get you, or you don't have that one special person that you can connect with on a emotional, deeper level. Maybe you're already in a relationship and the person that you're with is making you feel lonely. Or you're surrounded by a whole lot of other different people, but you still feel lonely because you have no deep emotional connections to those people. You don't resonate with them. And that can be very lonely. And we've all been through it. So if you're someone that is struggling with loneliness and you're wondering how you can deal with it, this video is for you. The first step on how to deal with loneliness is to identify yourself. Ask yourself, why do I feel lonely? What is making me feel lonely? Do I feel lonely because I don't go out and socialize enough? I stay at home all day, watch TV and play on my phone? Do I feel lonely because I don't have any real friends that I can chill and hang out with or that get me? Or maybe you have friends, but they make you feel like you're the black sheep or that you're a loser. If that's so, you need to change your circle of friends and find ones that are going to uplift you and not bring you down. Do you feel lonely because you're single? You don't have that person that you can connect with on an emotional, deeper level or that you can do fun things with. Do I feel lonely because I didn't get the enough love and, and attention from my parents when I was younger? And I'm traumatized from that. And speaking of that, that's a serious thing. When people don't get enough love and attention during their childhood years, this is how people become narcissists. They become narcissists by lashing out, using people, and doing all sorts of manipulating things. And many people become narcissists due to their past childhood traumas. It is sad, but that's a topic for another video. Everybody's situation is different and you gotta find yours. Once you identify the reasons to why you feel lonely, you can start taking steps to change that. Second thing you can do to deal with loneliness is to meditate. Meditation is the most healthiest exercise that anybody can do and there are Millions of ways you can meditate. You can watch, there are a lot of meditation videos that you can watch on YouTube or you can download it from your local app store, whatever type of device that you use it on. There are many ways that you can meditate. You can meditate by listening to music. You can meditate by watching a movie. You can meditate by doing yoga. Matter of fact, yoga is active meditation. I haven't done it in a long time, but if you're someone that enjoys yoga, that might be something that you want to do. Maybe you can join a yoga class. You'll probably meet a best friend there, and you never know. If you join a yoga class, you'll make new friends. And you never know. You might find your soulmate, your twin flame. Just from being at that yoga recital, you, you can meet your twin flame there. You just never know. Start trying new things that will help you feel less lonely and that'll help you out but yeah meditation meditation will help you clear all sorts of things it'll help you it'll help you clear out worries fears and you won't overthink about things another way that you can cope with loneliness is to start journaling journaling is one of the healthiest things that anybody any person could do because when you're journaling you're writing your thoughts and feelings on a sheet of paper you can write down the reasons to why you're feeling. I feel lonely because of point A. I feel lonely because of point B. Write down the reasons to why you feel lonely and start taking actions to change that. Another way you can deal with loneliness is to try new things. If you're feeling lonely, start volunteering in a new organization. Start joining clubs. Join a dance recital. Even though I already said this during meditation, I'm just giving another reminder. You can try joining new groups or clubs because when you join new groups or clubs, you'll feel less lonely because even if you don't resonate with everybody 
in those clubs, you'll find someone that you'll resonate with. So I recommend joining clubs or organizations, volunteering. And you'll feel less lonely. Another way you can feel less lonely is to realize that you're not the only one. Many people are feeling the same way that you're feeling. And I used to feel this way too because I felt like I couldn't connect with anybody. Like, I felt like I was the odd one out. Like, I couldn't, people didn't understand me. People didn't get me. People thought I was weird. And I know it's a hard thing to go through, especially when you're a young teenager going through this or when you're waking up. It's definitely big in the spiritual community because a lot of young people are waking up. So many people are waking up around the world and seeing how this world really is. And they get called weird, strange or crazy because they're not following the footsteps of everybody else. They're not followers. And it's always a good idea to think for yourself. I never liked conforming or following other people's ideologies because I don't like being in a box. I like thinking for myself. I don't want to be a slave to someone else's opinion because let me tell you, when you conform or follow the status quo, you are being controlled. You are being led astray by everybody else's thoughts and emotions. You're not thinking for yourself. You're doing things based on what someone else wants you to do. You're not doing it because you want to do it. You're doing it based on someone else's opinions. And so if you're doing things because someone else told you to do it, then you're not being your natural self. And I know if you're an Aquarius, you can relate to this because I know a lot of Aquarius, many of us get ostracized and judged for not following the status quo. We beat the two to our own drum. We don't follow ideologies. We don't conform to other people's opinions on what they want us to do. We don't follow the status quo. We don't do things in the traditional way. We do things our own way. We toot to hoot to our own drum. We don't like being told what to do or how to act or how to or who we can be with or who to socialize with. We want to do things our own way. And we like doing, we like, you get what I mean. And we don't like being told to do this because it's wrong or that. But yeah, if you're an Aquarius, you get what I'm saying. If there are any Aquarius out there, say what's up to me in the comment section. I know y'all can relate because a lot of us, our whole entire lives, we've been having people trying to control us and make us feel like, Something is wrong with us because we don't want to. We don't want to be slaves to this corrupt ass system. So if you're someone that gets judged for being weird and eccentric or unique, embrace your weird and unique eccentricness. Embrace that because we need more innovators. We need more creators. We need more people thinking outside the box. We have too many sheep around here and they're all being led to the slaughterhouse. And this is one of the reasons why us Aquarians rebel because we don't want to be led to the slaughterhouse and we don't want to have to regret that. Knowing that we had a chance to live our best life and to be ourselves and to be happy, manifesting our goals and desires and being on our deathbed knowing that we just wasted years and years living through other people's opinions. That is just something that Aquarius cannot tolerate. So you may feel lonely because of that, because you have different ideas and visions on what you want to do. And I just got to say, embrace that. And there's other people out there that struggle with this. If you're happen to run into someone that feels the same way as you do, you two can talk about your experiences, your problems, and then you guys can cheer each other up and then boom, you got yourself a friend or soulmate. There are other people that feel the same way that you do. So I recommend starting your own social network group, building a 
build a support system. Uh, building a, a support system, your own support system of friends online or in person will help you out a lot. But it's almost more meaningful to do it in person. And don't feel bad. A lot of us feel lonely. It is something that can be overcame. I just wanted to make this quick video dealing with loneliness. There are many things you can do to break that.